Emily Johnson is a partner at a top law firm in Boston, her office located in a high-rise in the bustling city center. Outside her window, busy streets and hurried people paint a picture of a city constantly on the move. Every day, Emily deals with complex legal cases, attends important meetings, and provides clients with the most professional legal advice. To outsiders, Emily's life seems incredibly successful and fulfilling. However, deep inside, she harbors a shadow she can't escape, her hometown of Havenport. Havenport is a small town located a few hours north of Boston. Emily grew up there, but she has rarely returned since becoming an adult. The town holds too many painful memories, especially the strained relationship with her sister, Lisa. Emily and Lisa were never close. In fact, they were quite distant. Lisa chose to stay in the small town, leading a simple life, while Emily was determined to leave and pursue her dreams. One day, Emily was busy preparing for an important case. Her office filled with files and legal books. She was deeply engrossed in her work when her phone suddenly rang. She glanced at the caller ID. It was a number she didn't recognize. Hesitant, Emily answered the call. Hello, is this Emily Johnson? A low, unfamiliar voice spoke on the other end. Yes, this is Emily. Who's calling? Emily responded. This is Officer Johnson from the Havenport Police Department. I have some unfortunate news for you. Your sister Lisa was in a car accident this morning, and she didn't survive. The words hit Emily like a thunderbolt, leaving her dizzy and almost unable to stand. She gripped the phone tightly, struggling to maintain her composure. She, how did it happen? Emily's voice trembled. According to witnesses, Lisa's car lost control on a rural road and crashed into a tree. She died on impact, Officer Johnson said solemnly. We need you to come to handle her estate and some related matters. Emily took a deep breath, forcing herself to stay calm. I understand. I'll come to Havenport as soon as I can. After hanging up, Emily sat at her desk her mind in turmoil. The news of Lisa's death was not only shocking and heartbreaking, but also forced her to face the past she had been avoiding. She knew that returning to Havenport meant dealing with more than just her sister's affairs. It meant confronting the memories that had once driven her away. Two hours later, Emily was driving on the highway to Havenport. The scenery outside the car window became increasingly familiar, and memories of her childhood in the small town flooded her mind. She remembered the time she spent with Lisa, both the happy and the painful moments. When Emily finally arrived in Havenport, the sky was already darkening. She drove to her sister's house, a small home in the town center. The garden in front was still planted with Lisa's favorite roses, though the flowers looked neglected and withered. Taking a deep breath, Emily pushed open the door. The interior was as cozy as she remembered, but a sense of sorrow permeated the air. She walked into the living room and saw Lisa's photo on the mantel, smiling as if welcoming her home. At that moment, a small, Innocent voice broke the silence. And Emily? Emily turned to see Jack, Lisa's 10-year-old son, his eyes filled with sadness and confusion. Jack, Emily knelt down, trying to smile reassuringly. I'm here now. Jack ran into her arms, holding her tightly. Emily felt the fragility and helplessness of this young boy. And she knew that from this moment on, she wasn't just Lisa's sister. She was also Jack's only guardian and support. Emily had spent a sleepless night at her sister's house. As the morning sun filtered through the curtains, she rubbed her tired eyes, realizing that a new day had begun. Slowly she got out of bed and looked out the window. The town's tranquility and beauty felt both familiar and strange to her. When Emily went downstairs, she found Jack already in the kitchen preparing breakfast. 
The sight of a 10-year-old handling things on his own filled her with both amazement and sadness. Jack, wearing an oversized t-shirt, looked a bit small, but his movements were surprisingly skillful. Good morning, Jack, Emily greeted with a smile. Good morning, Aunt Emily, Jack replied, glancing at her with a mix of shyness and weariness. Emily walked over to the table and saw that Jack had prepared a simple breakfast of toast, eggs, and orange juice for her. She felt a wave of emotion and sat down to join him. Jack, do you have any plans for today? Emily asked, trying to start a conversation. I plan to go to school, but I can stay home to help you with things if you need, Jack said, his tone mature and considerate. No need, sweetheart. You should go to school. I can handle things here, Emily replied with a smile, though her heart ached knowing how much responsibility Jack had taken on at such a young age. After breakfast, Emily drove Jack to school. The town school was a red brick building surrounded by lush trees. Watching Jack, with his backpack, walk into school stirred complex feelings in Emily. She realized that her visit wasn't just about handling her sister's estate. It was also about embracing a new responsibility. Back in town, Emily began visiting familiar places. She passed by the bakery she frequented as a child, where the owner, Maria, greeted her with warmth. Emily, it's been so long, you're back. Maria's voice was filled with excitement. Yes, Maria, Emily responded with a smile, though her heart was heavy with mixed emotions. As Emily walked through the town, she encountered many familiar faces. People greeted her warmly, though some cast curious or even skeptical glances her way. She knew that the townspeople remembered her departure and were probably wondering why she had returned. Amidst a busy day, Emily decided to visit her childhood home. It was a small house on the town's edge, surrounded by dense forests. Standing at the door, she took a deep breath and pushed open the rusty door. Inside, everything seemed frozen in time. The walls were adorned with photos of her and Lisa as children, and the bookshelves were filled with their mother's old books. Emily walked to a room and opened the door, revealing her old bedroom. The room still had her desk and bed and the walls were decorated with posters of her favorite stars from back then. While Emily was lost in memories, a knock on the door broke her reverie. She walked out and saw a tall man standing there, with short blonde hair, deep blue eyes, and a warm smile. Emily, the man called out. Adam, Emily's eyes widened in surprise. Adam was Emily's high school sweetheart. They had shared a sweet time together until Emily decided to leave for Boston to chase her dreams, and they gradually lost contact. It's me. Welcome back, Adam said, smiling with a hint of complex emotions in his eyes. Emily took a deep breath, trying to steady her racing heart. Thank you, Adam. It's good to see you. They sat on the porch steps, reminiscing about their lives. Adam had stayed in the town, running a repair shop and leading a simple, peaceful life. Emily spoke about her busy and successful career in Boston, though she left out her struggles and loneliness. Word of your return spread quickly in town, Adam said. Everyone's been talking about you. Thanks. I'm still getting used to being back, Emily replied, her eyes drifting away. No matter what, I'm glad you're back. If you need any help, just let me know, Adam said, patting her shoulder. Thank you, Adam, Emily said, her smile full of gratitude. As the day ended, Emily felt a swirl of emotions. She not only had to adapt to life in the small town again, but also had to face old friends and adversaries from her past. As Emily and Jack spent more days together, their differences began to surface. Emily was accustomed to the fast-paced life and efficiency of the city, 
while Jack was more in tune with the quiet and natural rhythm of the small town. Despite their efforts to adapt to each other, friction was inevitable. One morning, Emily was rushing to prepare breakfast, habitually spreading out the newspaper on the table as she sipped her coffee and read the news. Jack, on the other hand, preferred to leisurely enjoy his cereal and milk. A minor clash over breakfast soon ensued. Jack, can you please not spill the milk everywhere? Emily couldn't help but complain. Sorry, I'll be more careful, Jack replied softly, looking a bit hurt. Realizing she had been too harsh, Emily took a deep breath, trying to calm the tension. I'm sorry, Jack. I didn't mean to snap at you. It's just, sometimes I get a little stressed. Jack nodded and continued eating his breakfast. Watching him, Emily's heart was filled with complex emotions. She knew she needed more patience and understanding to truly connect with this young boy. That day, Emily decided to visit the town library to find some information about the town's history and her family's background. She hoped that understanding the past might help her find ways to better support Jack. The librarian, an elderly woman named Helen, welcomed Emily warmly. Emily, it's so good to see you back, Helen smiled. Is there anything I can help you with? I'd like to find some information about my family and the town's history, Emily replied. Of course, come with me, Helen said, leading Emily to a corner filled with old books and archives. As Emily flipped through the yellow pages, Memories of her childhood flooded back. She suddenly came across an old photo album that recorded many moments of her and Lisa as children. Seeing those familiar faces and scenes, Emily's mood grew heavy with nostalgia and sorrow. Just then, a familiar voice broke her reverie. Emily? She looked up to see an old friend, Sarah. Sarah had once been one of her closest friends. But over the years, they had drifted apart. Sarah, it's been a long time, Emily said, forcing a smile. Yes, it has, Sarah replied, her tone tinged with coldness. I heard you were back. Everyone in town is talking about it. Emily felt a pang of unease, knowing Sarah wasn't bringing this up casually. Yes, I'm back to handle some things. Sarah nodded her eyes showing a mix of curiosity and doubt. You know, everyone still remembers how you left. Emily's heart sank. She didn't want to continue this conversation. Sarah, can we not talk about this? After a moment of silence, Sarah nodded. All right, just remember, if you need any help, I'm here. Thank you, Sarah, Emily said, managing a grateful smile. Back at home, Emily's mood was heavy. She knew she couldn't escape the shadows of the past or easily cover up the secrets she didn't want to face. Jack noticed her distress and walked over, asking softly, Aunt Emily, are you okay? Emily forced a smile and patted his head. I'm fine, just a bit tired. That night, as Emily lay in bed, Fragments of the past kept surfacing in her mind. She remembered the arguments with Lisa and the reasons that had driven her to leave the town. She knew she had to confront these issues to find true peace. A few days later, Emily decided to take Jack to visit some old friends and acquaintances, hoping to find some answers. They went to a cafe that she and Lisa used to frequent. The owner, a middle-aged man named Peter was both surprised and happy to see Emily. Emily, it's been so long, Peter greeted her warmly. Hi, Peter, Emily responded with a smile. They sat down to chat, and Peter brought up many old memories, which made Emily feel both warm and pained. Jack listened attentively, gradually understanding more about his mother and Emily. Emily, you know... When you left, everyone thought you were really brave, Peter said. Emily lowered her head, silent for a moment. Actually, I didn't feel brave. I was just scared of facing the pain. Peter nodded, 
his eyes full of understanding. Sometimes facing the past is really hard, but you came back and that takes courage. Emily felt a wave of warmth. She knew she couldn't keep avoiding the past. She had to face the pain to truly help Jack and find a new direction in life. Emily's life in Havenport gradually stabilized as she adapted to the town's rhythm and reevaluated her life and career. Each morning, she would take Jack to school and then return home to handle her sister's estate and other matters. She found herself developing a deeper connection to the town than she had anticipated. Memories that had long been buried began to resurface, prompting her to re-examine her own life. One sunny morning, Emily decided to visit the local farmer's market to buy fresh fruits and vegetables. The market was bustling with people, and the stalls were filled with vibrant produce. Emily enjoyed this serene and fulfilling way of life, feeling a part of her that had been wounded slowly starting to heal. As she was selecting apples, a familiar voice called out from behind her. Emily? She turned to see Adam standing a short distance away, holding a bouquet of flowers and smiling warmly. Hi, Adam, Emily replied with a smile, though her emotions were mixed. Adam walked over and handed her the bouquet. These are for you. Welcome back to our lives. Emily accepted the flowers, her heart filled with gratitude. Thank you, Adam. Your support during this time has meant a lot to us. Adam nodded, and they walked side by side through the market talking about their lives. Adam shared that he had stayed in the town, running his own repair shop and leading a simple but fulfilling life. Emily talked about her busy life in Boston and how she was gradually realizing the need to reevaluate her own path. As time passed, Adam and Emily grew closer. They attended town events together and reminisced about old times. Emily began to feel an unprecedented sense of safety and support in Adam's presence. However, Emily still felt the weight of her past. One evening, while sitting on a bench by the lake, the moonlight reflecting off the water, Adam broke the silence. Emily, I know you have a lot of unresolved issues. If you're willing, I want to help you face them. Emily was silent for a moment taking a deep breath before opening up. Adam, I left the town because I was afraid of facing everything here. There were too many conflicts and arguments between Lisa and me. I didn't know how to handle it. Adam took her hand, his gaze steady and warm. Emily, everyone makes mistakes, but what matters is that you're willing to face and resolve them. You don't have to bear this alone. We're all here for you. Emily felt a wave of warmth and strength. She nodded, deciding to bravely confront her past. She started engaging more with the townspeople, listening to their thoughts and advice, gradually resolving her inner conflicts. With the support of Jack and Adam, Emily began to reconcile with her past. She realized that forgiving herself and others was the key to moving forward and embracing a new life. She reevaluated her career, deciding to devote more time and energy to community building in the town. One afternoon on a weekend, Emily, Jack, and Adam strolled through the town park. The sun bathed them in warmth, and a gentle breeze carried the scent of flowers and grass. Jack ran around excitedly, his face beaming with joy. Watching Jack, Emily felt a surge of hope and happiness. She knew she had taken an important step forward and found a new direction in life. Adam took her hand, and they exchanged a smile filled with anticipation for the future. After much contemplation, Emily made a significant decision. She would stay in Havenport and live with Jack. Despite the town's many painful memories, it also offered new hope and strength. She realized that this place was truly her home. One sunny morning, 
Emily went to the town courthouse to finalize becoming Jack's legal guardian. She stood before the judge, pledging to take full responsibility for Jack's care and upbringing. The judge smiled and approved her request, filling the courtroom with warmth and hope. As they walked out of the courthouse, Jack tightly held Emily's hand, his eyes shining with gratitude and joy. Aunt Emily, thank you. I'm really happy you're staying. Emily knelt down to meet his gaze. You're welcome, Jack. From now on, we're a family. Meanwhile, Adam was actively involved in their lives. One evening, the three of them sat around the dining table planning their future. Adam suggested opening a community center in the town to provide more learning and recreational opportunities for the children. Emily agreed with the idea, deciding to use her legal knowledge and experience to contribute to the community. They decided to renovate Lisa's house, turning it into a warm and comfortable home. Adam coordinated with local craftsmen, and together they transformed the old house into a cozy new home. Emily personally selected new furniture and decorations, pouring her heart into every detail. During this process, Emily finally made peace with her past. She realized that avoiding problems doesn't solve them. Only by facing and accepting them could she find true peace. Her memories of Lisa became a source of strength rather than pain. One day, as Emily and Jack were sitting on the living room couch, Jack asked, Aunt Emily, do you regret leaving here? Emily smiled gently and stroked Jack's hair. There was a time when I did regret it, but now I don't. Those experiences made me stronger and led me to find my true home. Adam walked into the living room and, hearing their conversation, sat down beside Emily with a smile. Emily, you've done so much for this family. We're all grateful. Emily looked at Adam, feeling an unprecedented sense of peace and happiness. Thank you, Adam. I couldn't have made it this far without your support. One summer afternoon, Emily, Jack, and Adam enjoyed the sunshine and breeze in the garden. Jack ran around the yard, his laughter echoing through the air. Emily and Adam sat side by side on a bench, watching the beautiful scene before them, feeling content and joyful. Emily spoke softly. We've come a long way, but I believe we've found our new beginning. Adam took her hand, his eyes filled with determination and warmth. Yes, no matter what challenges the future holds, we'll face them together. Jack ran over, excitedly grabbing their hands. Aunt Emily, Uncle Adam, let's go to the lake together. Emily and Adam exchanged a smile, stood up, and walked towards the lake hand in hand. The sunlight bathed them, creating a scene filled with hope and love. In this new beginning, they found not only each other, but also a true sense of home. 